Sony's latest live service game, Concord, has been met with widespread disappointment and underwhelming sales. Despite years of development and significant marketing efforts, the game has struggled to attract players and generate revenue. The gaming landscape has become increasingly saturated with live service titles, offering players a constant stream of new content and updates. In such a competitive environment, games must stand out with unique features, innovative gameplay mechanics, or a compelling narrative to attract and retain players. Concord, unfortunately, failed to differentiate itself. Its gameplay mechanics, while enjoyable for some, were not groundbreaking or original enough to entice players away from established titles. Concord's premium price point, coupled with its relatively limited content offerings, made it a difficult sell for many players. In an era where free-to-play games often provide substantial amounts of content and progression, charging even $40 for a game with a limited scope can be a significant barrier to entry. Many players may have felt that the game did not offer enough value to justify the cost. Despite Sony's significant marketing efforts, Concord failed to capture the attention of potential players. The game's messaging and promotional materials did not effectively convey its unique selling points or appeal to a wider audience. This may be attributed to a lack of clarity in the game's identity or a failure to connect with the target audience. Critical reviews of Concord were largely negative, citing issues such as repetitive gameplay, lackluster graphics, and a generic storyline. These negative reviews can have a significant impact on a game's sales, as they can discourage potential players from purchasing it. Negative word of mouth can also spread quickly, further damaging a game's reputation. Concord's performance is on par with other disappointing gaming flops, like Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, and Redfall. While these games also faced challenges, they had the advantage of being based on popular franchises and featuring well-known characters. Concord, on the other hand, lacked the same level of brand recognition or fan following. The failure of Concord can be attributed to a combination of factors, including market saturation, high price point, ineffective marketing, negative critical reception, and comparison to other failed games. These factors contributed to a lack of interest and ultimately led to the game's commercial failure. Concord's failure is a significant setback for Sony, which has been aggressively expanding its live service gaming portfolio. The company has invested heavily in live service titles, recognizing the potential for long-term revenue and player engagement. However, Concord's underwhelming performance raises questions about Sony's ability to successfully navigate this competitive market. The failure of Concord suggests that Sony may need to reassess its strategies for developing and launching live service games. The company's resources and expertise may not be as well suited to this genre as it once thought. Additionally, Sony's focus on high-budget, counterweight titles may be hindering its ability to compete with smaller, more agile developers who can produce innovative and cost-effective games. Concord's development was overseen by Firewalk Studios, a relatively new game studio that Sony acquired. The game's failure highlights the risks associated with investing heavily in new game studios, especially in a rapidly evolving industry. Even with significant resources and support, new studios may struggle to produce successful games, particularly in highly competitive genres like live service. In a crowded market like the gaming industry, innovation is essential for a game to stand out. Concord's failure highlights the importance of offering something truly unique or groundbreaking to attract players. Whether it's innovative gameplay mechanics, a compelling narrative, or a distinctive art style, games must differentiate themselves from the competition. The price of a game can significantly impact its sales. Developers must carefully consider pricing strategies to ensure that their games are competitively priced and offer value to players. Overpricing a game can deter potential customers, while underpricing it may not generate sufficient revenue. Finding the right balance between price and value is essential for commercial success. While the upfront cost of Concord is fine, the hidden cost attached to it is simply not worth it. It might work for titles like League of Legends and Genshin Impact, but those games are also highly enjoyable or have hot anime girls. Marketing plays a crucial role in generating awareness and interest in a new game. Clear and compelling marketing campaigns can help to differentiate a game from its competitors and attract potential players. 
Developers must carefully craft their marketing messages to resonate with their target audience and highlight the unique selling points of their game. Player feedback is essential for the long-term success of any live service game. By listening to player feedback and making necessary adjustments, developers can improve the game's experience and keep players engaged. This may involve addressing bugs, balancing gameplay, or adding new content based on player requests. The failure of Concord offers valuable lessons for Sony and other game developers. By learning from the mistakes of the past, developers can improve their chances of success in the future. As the gaming industry continues to evolve, it remains to be seen what is next for Concord. The company must carefully consider the lessons learned from Concord's failure and apply them to its future projects.